what is going on everybody i am zachary d the cerebral palsy dad and this is the daily decompression welcome to it welcome to it i appreciate everybody we're gonna play some dofus today it is saturday afternoon so we are chilly chilling you really feel me um i used to be better at that but definitely we're gonna play some dofus i don't really know where my head goes in this particular video I'm, that's what i'm doing but by the way that's why you can't really tell what uh is going on on the screen I'm trying to find an appropriate place for my face in this particular uh game type item so forgive me for not being more prepared but i wanted to get right to it and really bring you guys something particularly different today we're gonna try it out right here i i think right here in this corner is where i'm gonna rest i'm gonna hang out in this general area for this particular game so this is a really interesting concept to me it is a turn-based uh it is a turn-based mmorpg just so we're clear, if you're coming to me for the story on games like this, um, I'm not about it. I'm not going to sit here and read to you, especially not in a daily decompression format video. Just not happening. Facts. Um, do, be, do be aware of that. If you want to read the dofus stuff that bad, um, please do. Um, Go play Dofus. It's been fun so far. I started out, um, started out a bit ago. But we're looking for Tetet Nian. Oh, that this dude is he is not Tetet Nian. Okay, we're looking for Tetet Nian. Oh, there he is, Tetet Nian. Um, oh. Ternetian. Um, it's a pretty uh, weeb style game, which is not usually my bag, but definitely do love some turn based play, mostly because it is it can be played at cripple speed. I don't have to think particularly fast. It's not really a twitch reaction. Um, it's not really twitch reaction based. Oh, I have prizes. Looky there. Neat. We're looking for some people. See what's going on. These people. Rookie shop. Yay. Oh. There's dude. All right, cool. Got some crafting things. We're, it's a really interesting art style too. I feel like I'm in an episode of a really weeboo show. So we'll see how this plays out. But I wanted to uh, take an opportunity to talk to you as sort of an extension of yesterday's video starting now the next step after you start now is don't be afraid to put yourself out there don't be afraid to just jump out the window um, on an opportunity don't let fear paralyze you Take it from somebody who, as a kid, was thought to have never walked, um, more or less uh, could have been in a wheelchair all my life, and for all intents and purposes, uh, physically paralyzed. I'm not, not in the literal sense, but um, much more mobily deficient than I could have been had my mother not 
jumped out the window on those doctors and said, you know what? No, um, my son is in fact going to walk and I'll find a doctor who believes that even if you guys don't. So fight for what you want. Jump out the window. Take a leap. Try something. And not not just try something because I, I don't want I don't want to do yesterday's uh, or Thursday's video part two. Um, sorry, I work uh, several hours a week and I work overnight, so my days run together quite a bit. So I I really don't want to do Thursday's video part two. I don't feel like I can beat a level six anything. Level three, maybe? Let's try it. Ready up for a fight. Yeah. Let's go. Oh. Is he not going to move? What? He's finally moving. It's not very fast. All right, but don't be a don't be afraid to put yourself and your skills out there. Um, sure. You might be re rejected. Um, sure, you might lose. Um, sure, you may not get the response that you want. But don't be afraid of rejection. Because as cliche as it sounds, I truly believe you miss 100% of the shots that you don't take. And the reason that's important, because if you are consistently not taking your shots, there's going to be something out there meant for you that you just said no. And you said no on principle. You said no, no, I'm not even going to try. I'm not even going to make an effort. I think these people or that a uh, person is not going to enjoy me enough to even give me a shot. And, and you know what that really boils down to? It boils down to getting comfortable. The only thing you should be comfortable with in your life is being uncomfortable. You should be so used to being uncomfortable that it feels weird to be um, at an even keel. You should be pushing yourself. You should be this, that, and third. If if I didn't push myself every day, my wife would still be working. I would absolutely not be working from home. I would be so hobbled up and crippled that I uh, was in a wheelchair. I wouldn't have a, uh, I wouldn't be married right now. You know how absolutely terrifying it was to meet somebody and tell her the first time you talk to her, more or less, I'm going to marry you. It terrified the snot out of me, bruh. It was terrifying. But had I not jumped out that window... Had I not taken that leap, I would not be married right now. Firmly believe this. This is a fact. Um, and you guys are going to get some content on, um, on Monday. Specifically related to that. Um, I'm going to... I, we're, we're all set up to film the first... Cerebral palsy dad family video. I don't really know what I'm doing here, by the way. I'm just kind of farming these little wisps. 
because combat's what's fun. So, bug it. Let's see if I can. I have a. No, I don't have enough. If he moves in on. If he, oh, I can't. Okay. okay. That. And then. Oh, I'm, I'm one off from Typhoon. What does Rampart do? Oh, cool. Now that Rampart move does reduce the damage that I take. Just kind of farming up right here because combat is what what I come to MMOs most for. I'm sorry, but um, but no, if I didn't jump out the window, I wouldn't be married. I wouldn't have never have uh, never met my 12 year old daughter, who some of you would have the audacity to call my stepdaughter. But uh, she is not. That is my daughter. Uh, there is no no debate about this. There's no way you could tell me differently. Not a thing. Um, I vehemently disagree with the idea that um, stepchildren should be a thing. Like you shouldn't look at your significant other's uh, children from a previous relationship as stepchildren it's goofy but that's another that's another video idea altogether let's see if i can take on this particular level five fight i want to i want to see what your boy is really capable of let's go let's do it boom got him snap got him Bang. Got him. Bang. Okay, so that fight's not hard. Level six? Um, I sincerely have no idea where this game is going to go. Um, I'd like to see some party content, maybe in a few videos, once I decide to quit farming level two uh, minions. Maybe I can actually get somewhere in this game. But take risk. Uh, jump out the window. Present yourself to some people. Um, also, be prepared that your opportunity could come at any moment your big break could be tomorrow it could be the next day it could be any time you your break uh doesn't know what time is convenient for you it doesn't know uh what time is good for you all your break knows is it's here um it doesn't care about convenience and Truthfully, um, you shouldn't either. You should be ready to break it open at any given moment. It shouldn't even be a question. You should be absolutely 100% prepared to for your next risk to be the risk that pays off completely. Um, what do I need to make an incarnum bread? Do I have the stuff to do it? Like, did they me the stuff to do it I'm looking at the encyclopedia the hell Um, so,
Hmm. Interesting. All right, so I guess I'll have to go dig into this crafting a little bit before we, um, before we really get into that. Um, because I, I feel like I could be here for a hot minute just reading all that. But be prepared to break it open. Be, be prepared that somebody is going to notice all the hard work you've been putting in. Don't do it for the notice, but be prepared to get noticed. Like, do I know what I would do if this channel blew up overnight? Absolutely, I have a plan. I'm already planning uh, new and different content already. Um, I am 100% looking for ways to improve what I'm doing and make better content for you. This is kind of a relaxed video. I'm I'm kind of talking about the game, which is something, by the way, I don't normally do. If you guys want more of me talking about the game and me uh, talking about that particular um, thing, you are welcome to comment, uh, make a comment, and let me know that you do want me to talk about the game and talk about what I'm playing and how I'm playing it. Um, somebody did ask something recently that I, I found to be interesting and I'm kind of getting off topic here um normally I I won't maybe maybe we'll um maybe we'll make this a Saturday theme Saturdays will just be my mind dump day that I can just say whatever I want when I whenever I want without a particular topic in mind you know what as of right now that's what we're gonna do I, I don't know what we'll call it yet but that's what we're gonna do this is just me uh we'll call it a fireside chat uh real quick with you guys kind of get uh, kind of purging all the thoughts i had from the week uh leading up to now because um we had a uh by the time you see this we'll have had have had our first our first uh tabletop game since i started the channel and we'll be preparing for a live stream on Sunday. But somebody asked me an interesting question recently. Uh, they said, how do you play games differently than able-bodied people? And long story short is, it's real simple. I suck. Like, I just do. It's just a fact. Um... I, I don't mean to I, I don't I don't I don't mean to tear myself down but it's not like I it's not like it's a um it's not like I'm looking at these games and having to set up like key binds with my that I use with my mouth maybe I should I don't know but it's not like I'm setting up a bunch of key binds to play games with my mouth or different parts of my body that are not so physically um how do i say uh limited i guess is a uh, there should have been a better word there i'm better than that but limited is really the best word i could come up with at the moment uh i just harvested some wheat i'm a level two farmer that's pretty nifty who'd have known I didn't even try to be a level two farmer. Uh, I'm kind of just running around here, hanging out. Um, gathering nettles, cool. Um, no, I, I don't do anything differently to make the game more accessible to me. I, I certainly know that I suck. I'm aware, and I try and be as lightweight when I'm getting carried as possible, but honest to goodness, the vast majority of multiplayer games I play, um, I'm getting carried and I know it, but I think tying this back into the original topic, I'm still not afraid to play them, still not afraid to jump out the window, still not afraid to... Put myself out there and 
make a spectacle of it. I mean, here's a man telling you, I know I suck at video games, and yet I'm making a channel where one of the primary content types is me playing video games. It's just a really interesting, uh, it's a really interesting thing when people say, oh, I'm too afraid, or oh, uh, I, I would never get that opportunity. You know how many opportunities I've, I've been passed up for in the last eight months since I started working from home? Several. Did it stop me from trying? Uh, no. Here's the other point to that, though. It hurts. It hurts to get um, passed up. And anybody, anybody who tells you, oh, no, it just is the way it is. No, no big deal. Whoop, whoop, whoop. Like, you just move on. Yeah, you move on. But let's be reasonable humans. It hurts to... Put your effort into something and then get rejected. But you know what? From hurt comes determination. You know what it would be like if everything in your life was painless? Boy, howdy, would you be soft. You would absolutely 100% be cottonell soft, fucking like cotton nail soft like toilet paper soft baby bottom soft soft you would be terrifyingly soft soft like jello soft like flubber soft 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 uh, and i'm not saying that you should be hard or a freaking gangster monster all the time you like you don't got to be uh walking around super hard all the time either but there is a middle ground where you are what i like to refer to as sturdy where you still get emotional you still care you haven't become jaded or cold you are sturdy you are um stoic stoic is the wrong word or maybe it's the perfect word i i, I guess i'm retarded and don't actually know the definition of stoic stoic um now that i think about it Maybe I'm just retarded. Um, and, and to be honest with you, you know what? I can say that because I've been called retarded. So maybe I am. Maybe I am mentally retarded as a handicapped person. Sure. Today, I got time for that. Um, today, I'm mentally retarded because I don't know the, the definition of the word uh, stoic. Anyway... I I just think that there's too many opportunities that get ignored that were meant for you just because you didn't feel ready, which goes back to the video on Thursday, um, getting ready to start. The best time to start is now. Um... But you're never going to be fully ready for an opportunity. That's why it's an opportunity. If you were ready for it, it would be what you do. It wouldn't be an opportunity. It would be what you do. It would be your thing. But because it's an opportunity, you should know you're not ready. You should be aware that this is probably outside my comfort zone. And it's probably going to be a little bit uncomfortable. And I'm, I need to be... 100% okay with that. Um, so, my takeaway from this week, the first week of the channel, let's all commit to doing something that makes us, makes us uncomfortable. Do something that makes you feel uneasy. Not, not unethical. Now, come on. Uh, uneasy. Jump out the window. Take a risk. Get started. Let's let's do something that matters this week or this next week. And I want you to comment 
uh, in the the uh, I want you to leave a comment and tell me uh, throughout the week on my videos what it is that you're doing this risky what it is that makes you feel um, uncomfortable what it is that you uh, wouldn't have done maybe if I didn't inspire that amount of change in you um, definitely thank you guys for watching this week uh, live stream tomorrow at 7 15 p.m central standard time as per the usual it's been a it's been an amazing first week over here uh, as zachary d the cerebral palsy dad um also i've been um trying to decide something about the channel and maybe you can let me know i started using the title cerebral palsy dad as a way to get them uh, juicy juicy watches and get uh, into the search and be uh, visible right and it occurred to me I am Zachary D that's never gonna change it's who I am and I live and breathe it um, but maybe I need to change the name of the channel to cerebral palsy dad the cerebral palsy dad show um it's it's a weird thing to think that this may be bigger than just than just me because when i originally started this channel um when i originally had the idea for this channel it was basically going to be a monologue channel, sort of like what you're getting right now. And then we had the idea to bring my family into it. So I want something in the name of the channel that is a little bit less me focused and more focused around the individuals that are around me, supporting me, the, the village that is what helps Zachary D be who Zachary D is. That starts with my my wife and my kids, and you're going to see the first video of my family uh, come Monday, unless there's some crazy uh, conflict in scheduling, and I got to push it back later in the week. I'll confirm that for you on uh, Sunday night stream definitely once again thank you for watching please like please comment please subscribe to the channel uh tickle that pickle for notifications and as always i'm zachary d and don't be tripping because i'm still cripping i appreciate it once again and see you guys tomorrow i'm out